Okay, and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a follow-up video on our washing machine. This is our new washing machine. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's the LG, I think it's called Ultra Capacity or Mega Capacity, something like that. It'll be in the title. And uh, what it was, like I had previously shown a video of it doing its um, wash cycle just with just a couple of towels in there so you could see what's happening down in the bottom there so you can see how that thing reacts but today we're going to do a full load and I'm going to give you kind of a quick tour around it as well okay and starting with the front here um, we had not it we don't recall it saying that it was stainless steel but the front really does look like stainless steel and so we took a magnet to it I have a magnet and the magnet sticks to it so I'm pretty sure that's not stainless steel but on the lid here, there is a accent there that I think part of the lid is regular metal and the rest is stainless, like on the edge it doesn't stick, but I think that there's some steel under this stainless steel, that's a good guess, but I think this front piece is real stainless steel and also this piece up here I think is stainless steel, but the front and the sides actually, I are just painted to look like stainless steel but it, it looks very convincing uh, so that's that there but uh, we had requests to show a close-up of the control panel here and uh, so we will once we get it uh, loaded up we'll show you what we're doing there but it is very spiffy really really an amazing machine now we've had this about two months we run at least 20 or 30 loads we are a family of four and we were using the washer every day but now we don't quite have to do that because we find that like in our old washer it was a giant capacity of some kind but it would only take like one laundry basket full of clothes but now this one, since there's no agitator in there, and it's also larger, um, it can easily take two baskets, or it might even be able to take three baskets. It's enormously big. What we have today is all of our towels. This is almost all of our towels. This is our taller basket, and they're all packed in there. There's a lot of towels. This is something that our old washer wouldn't have been able to do. But we've done this before with this washer and it will easily be able to take all those towels it won't even be full you'll be surprised but speaking of that looking down there in the bottom that's something you've got to take note of is how deep it is if you're not of uh, average size I would say about five five and above um, you're gonna have a little trouble getting to the bottom like if you're only about five feet tall one um, one commenter had said that they had a member of their family who's four foot eleven and couldn't reach the bottom, and that's going to happen. This is enormously deep, and the bottom of it there is almost to the ground, if you can see there. So um, you must consider that. I don't know exactly how deep, but I would have to say if you were oh any any shorter than about five three, I don't think you're quite going to be able to reach the bottom. Uh, so take that into consideration uh, if you're buying it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up the camera on the tripod and I'm going to throw all those towels in there and then we'll get ready to get it, get it started. So we'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. This is a lot of towels, but I mean... You can see it's not even full. It could absolutely take more towels than that, um, and you'll see uh, shortly here that once it spins it around and senses the load, that won't even be full. And when they're wet, um, it won't even be half full. It's quite amazing. So I will let me get this off the tripod, which isn't going to work well. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. This is the uh, soap container. Now we've been putting powdered soap in there, um, but that is for a fabric softener there. 
and then this I, I can't remember if this is where the steam comes out or if this is where it fills from I think it's a steam um, steam outlet but let me get some soap I'll load it up and this is a large batch of towels so I'm gonna put a lot of soap in there in. Okay, so let's close the lid. And that is a neat thing about this one, is the lid. It's got one of those auto dampen type close things that you never get tired of. Okay, so let's turn it on. There we go. Alrighty. So as you can tell, that is really spiffy, those LEDs there. And then you just uh, select your mode there and we are doing towels so I've put it on towels now some of these other uh, loads this is for um, this, this wash is kind of faster or if it's like really dirty and then there's some other ones over here that use steam uh, the sanitary cycle we've run this before on some uh, dish towels um, and we've never used that one. Now, th some of these cycles are enormously long, like this towel cycle is going to be an hour and five minutes, but it might be worse, so I'll, I'll tell you why in a moment. But as you're switching over to some of these other ones, like the sanitary cycle, the sanitary cycle is two hours and 47 minutes, but it's not even the worst one. If you put in this allergen cycle, that one is three hours and 37 minutes. And now the tub clean, I don't know why you would need that, two hours and 24 minutes, but it might have something to do with, there seems to be a kind of a detergent buildup that's happening down there, or a hard water, or I don't know really why you would need that, but um, if the tub appears dirty or if it starts to smell bad or something, you would run that tub clean. But that is not going to be today. We're going to be doing towels. And before I start, now this particular load is going to be different. Now what I'm going to be doing is filming it from the top. And I'm going to be put, using this light to shine straight down, just like I did before. And we're going to do it about like that. And I will turn off the overhead light so that it um, picks up better in there and uh, we'll film the whole thing. But it might be longer than an hour to five because what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to run the cold wash or cold, maybe, yeah, cold wash, hour and 18 minutes, wash temperature cold, 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 okay. And the reason, so that added another 12 minutes or 13 minutes um, and the reason I'm going, going to do that is because when you're trying to film this on the glass top if you're using warm water or hot water it will steam it up and you won't be able to see what's happening in there and so uh, I have to run it on a cold wash for this for filming this and so uh, what I'm going to do is Set this up on the tripod. No, wait, what am I going to do? I think what, yeah, I'll set it up on the tripod. I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. And don't worry, I will be turning the light off so that bright spot on the lid will go away. Um, okay, so in the process of setting up the camera, I timed out and turned itself off. So I'm putting it back on towels, hitting cold wash again. And um, I'll start it up. So here we go. Let me go get that light. There we go. So uh, as I said, this is going to be an hour and 18 minutes. I'm going to film the whole thing, but I will speed it up and just break in here and there when it's doing something exciting. Like right now. What it's doing is it's load sensing. 
and I don't know exactly how it accomplishes that, but it's doing it. I was about to spin it really fast. Okay, and so now it knows basically what you put in it. And at this point, it knows how much water to put in there and how to treat the load. And it will do that accordingly. And right about now, it should start spraying the water. Okay, and this is the point where I walk away from it, um, and I will come back when I hear it do its little song at the end. So at the points where I break in and uh, switch back to normal speed, I won't be talking, um, because that will all be just things that I find in the editor. And so um, at the end here, I will come in and wrap it up. The time lapse will probably happen right about now, I think.
Okay, and that just about wraps it up for that load. That's the sound it makes. Instead of like a big annoying buzzer, it, it plays that little song. Which is nice, but you can't always hear it. Um, most of the time you can, though. So I'm going to turn the light on. I'll be right back. Okay. And there we go. I'll take this light off of here. And I'll open it up. So you can see what you got. So there we have it. The, um, believe it or not, that is the same load of towels that was up all the way up to like here, right about here is where they were. And when they're wet and spun out, they're all up to the edges. So as you can see, this washer can take even a lot more towels or a lot more of anything uh, than even this. Um, it could probably take two of those tall baskets of um, towels, which is an immense amount of towels. It's just crazy. Um, so that is it for that. Um, what I'm going to be doing is following this up with the dryer. We do have the matching dryer, and we haven't filmed that at all anymore, or <laughs> at all yet. But uh, it has a similar panel, and I'll be showing the panel on that and the front on that and the inside of the tub before I uh, fill it up. So look for it, the, uh, the dryer tub. So look for that one right after this one, and uh, it will be this same load of towels uh, being dried. I'll film that whole thing, but uh, certainly time-lapse that because it just spins around in circles. Uh, now this particular one, I did film the whole thing, so I have the whole thing in regular video. Um, if anybody really, really wants me to post the whole hour in hour and 20, hour and 18 minute uh, cycle, if you want me to, I'll post that whole thing if you, if you like. But uh, otherwise, this time lapse and breaking in thing I think is the best way to show this. So, this has been fun. Um, stay tuned or look right next to this video for the dryer. And it is even bigger than this, believe it or not. Um, so look forward to that one. And I thank you for watching. Everybody have a good night. Bye.